Hi, Franco Cavallari here, here to address a subject matter that we've had a lot more questions about, and that is ketosis, the term ketogenesis, and how they relate, um, and how this relates to the ketogenic diet. Um, I've used these principles for the longest time, not only to stay fit and in shape today as a former athlete, I mean, 1992, I had won Mr. IFBB North America using a lot of these um, ketogenic strategies to get into shape for shows. And there's an amazing way to do this um, that is easy. You don't have to struggle through the low carbohydrate, low blood sugar phase of a ketogenic diet because there is an initial phase uh, in the first two to three days that's very difficult for people to adhere to. But um, we'll get into that in a subsequent session. Um, in the last 15 years, I've been involved intensely in biomedical research on various fronts, including this ketogenic front and uh, working on different substances that help people get into a ketogenic and a state that um, represents ketosis. And I'll explain those terms in a moment. But we've done uh, an amazing research that has created, I believe, uh, a clear path and a clear understanding of how to leverage these strategies to uh, improve health in general and find fitness uh, very effectively. Let's talk about ketosis. Ketosis, this term um, describes an elevated level of ketones in the blood. So serum ketone levels above the baseline that you typically will have on a day-to-day -day basis represents then ketosis. So most of us will, will um, journey through the day with about 0.1 millimoles of ketones in our bloodstream. Primarily the body will use glucose. Uh, the cells will use glucose as a primary energy substrate throughout the day. If we engage in a ketogenic diet or total caloric restriction, the body begins to panic and say, wow, there's deprivation here. We better start to use fat sources as a primary source of energy. And because the brain cannot use fat as a primary source of energy to make ATP for the cells, um, the body starts to make ketones. These ketones are smaller molecules than the fats. They can travel through the blood-brain barrier into the brain and serve the neurons, your brain, with a very potent uh, fuel substrate called a ketone. So when levels of ketones begin to rise in the blood, we then begin to experience ketosis. So levels above 0.1, typically you start to get a 0.2. Um, some people on a ketogenic diet want to see readings that uh, range between one millimole, not 0.1, one millimole to about three or four millimoles, which is hard. It's hard for most people to get up to three or four millimoles of ketones in the blood. Serum ketone levels are very high. So that's called ketosis. Ketosis means, again, an elevated level of ketones in the bloodstream, serum ketones in the bloodstream that are beyond the typical or baseline of 0.1 millimoles. Don't confuse that with the term ketogenesis. Ketogenesis means the generation of or synthesis of or making of ketones in the body. So when you engage in a ketogenic diet, or again, caloric deprivation, uh, combined caloric deprivation with intense exercise that uh, ends up using up your fuel in the bloodstream, maybe it's glucose, as those levels begin to drop, glucose levels begin to drop, the body begins to make ketones from fat. And that elevated serum ketone level, again, is ketosis, but the making of these ketones, the generation of these ketones from fat is called ketogenesis, the process by which ketones are made. And that process is executed in the cells through what's called beta oxidation. Ketogenesis is where we make ketones. Ketosis represents an elevated level of ketones in the bloodstream beyond the baseline 0.1 millimoles. 